a little bit. This is what I do to roll out my neck, and I know a lot of you guys want a foam roll, and you guys know it's beneficial, but don't know exactly how to do it. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and explain a couple exercises that I do, a couple movements I do on the foam roller. And then if you guys want to do them, implement them into your warm up. I would recommend doing this after a little bit, after you get your heart rate up, whether it be five minute Stairmaster, five minute jog, come back, do some foam rolling, and then start your workout. So these are some movements that I personally like to do. When my neck's tight, I like to roll on my neck. What you want to do is just get your neck, the foam roller right in between the top of your head and your um, shoulder blades. You're gonna be here, and what I just do is try to relax. Look to my left, breathe out, come back, go to my right, breathe out, and do that for a few reps. Another part of my body I like to roll out because I'm very tight is my lats, is my back. For those of you who are trying to snatch, who are trying to do overhead squats, anything overhead, a lot of Olympic lifts when you're doing the clean and jerk, um, a lot of people's lats are tight. You know, we're over here on the computer, we're driving, we're always hunched over, um, so our lats are tight. This is how you can roll them out and really try to open up that muscle. So what you want to do is put the foam roller in between, kind of like right in, in your armpit. And then from here, with your legs, you're going to give it a little bit of raise, and you're going to come down like you're rolling out your lats, like, a, like pizza dough or something. Just roll them out, roll out your lats, like pizza dough. In a spot that's like super painful, and it's like, it's like, ooh, like a sharp pain, dig in that part. That's the part that probably needs it the most. So what you want to do is pause at that part, take a deep breath in, And then take a deep breath out and just really try to release that part of the muscle that's really tight. Another one to do for your back is put the foam roller right in the middle. You want to bring your hands behind your head, uh, spine flexion and extension. So you're coming here, coming as far as you can. Try to touch your, your hands, your fingertips on the ground. Breathe out, come up like you're doing a sit up. You're not coming off the foam roller. You're just coming up as high as you can, keeping that contact with the foam roller. Come back down, take a deep breath in, and breathe out. What you can do after that is come up on your heels, so slightly bring your hips up. Bring again, bring your hands behind your head and roll out as you're breathing in and out. Stand your spine, don't come all the way down. Don't come all the way down to your lumbar spine. It's really gonna put a lot of pressure. Come about 75% down and then go all the way up to right before your shoulder blades, I would say leave about 10% cushion. Come down, 75%, come back, 10% cushion. Do a few reps of these. And then of course the legs. The legs are very popular with the foam roller. What you wanna do is you wanna place the, the foam roller right there on that hip bone, and then just like your lats, just roll it out like pizza dough. <laughs> roll it out like pizza dough. All the way down to about right above your knee, and coming back. Right above the knee, coming back. So for glutes, what you want to do is just sit on the form roller, go ahead and cross that leg over the opposite leg's knee, tilt to where most of your body weight is on that glute you want to roll. Trying to find those spots with a little pain. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. And then just keep rolling it out. Again, all this is just trying to get in the muscle, trying to open it up, trying to activate it so that when we're working out, we're not overusing a certain muscle. And the last one, the inner thigh. The inner thigh, place whatever leg you want to roll out on top of the foam roller. As you're rolling out, your natural tendency is gonna to wanna to go this way. But what you wanna think about to really kind of dig into that inner thigh is you wanna think about your knee going into the ground. So come at like a 45 degree angle, roll out your quads, it's gonna hurt, and come all the way down into your hip. So I'm gonna roll out, pushing my knee again in that 45 degree angle, making sure I roll it out all the way here, coming back to the top of the knee. 45 degree angle, into the ground, Coming back up, 
into the knee. Do that a couple times again. We're just rolling out like pizza dough, guys. <laughs> <laughs>